Welcome to 5-Minute Classroom. I'm Bill Church, your host. Behind the camera is Pete Rogers. Hello. All right, Pete. Uh, what color do you like that goes with yellow? Gotta pick blue. All right, so pick blue. The project we're gonna do today, Pete, is a spin art project with a Lego motor, the construction paper, your color blue, and cardboard. The, the stuff we're gonna need for this project, so the paper, the cardboard, a Lego axle, gear, some black pegs here, and then, although not essential, uh, but always fun to use, the brass fasteners. Well, we have the Lego gear already attached to the cardboard. If you need a little more detail on how we did that, go check out our video about attaching Lego to cardboard. Okay, so we've got our, our canvas. Let me put my axle here, and I'm gonna put it into the motor here. Uh, we're gonna use our trick of one motor connected to another motor to do that, but I've got to attach my beautiful piece of yellow construction paper, and that's where the brass fasteners come in. Uh, you could use tape, you could use glue, other things, but we're gonna use the brass fasteners, because it's fun. And we're gonna poke this through. Boy, this is the toughest cardboard I've ever used, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, one there, and they just look cool, so that's always fun. We've got our uh, canvas here. Are you ready to do some art? I'm ready. Okay, Pete, I need your help. Now I get to effortlessly Zoom slide in. into camera. All right, excellent. Go ahead and, and turn that motor. This motor is the generator for this motor. Really cool. Now let's use that for our spin art extravaganza. All right. Okay, you ready? Go ready. ahead. Go ahead. And. Voila, super cool spiral. Super cool spiral. Um, but we've got other colors here. What's our next color, Pete? Red, okay. Take out some red. Um, should we add a splash of red? A, da a drip. A drip of red, okay. Ready? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. One drip, two drips, three drips, four drips, five drips, six drips, seven drips. Okay, we've got some drips of red. Um, what's our next color? Green. Okay. So, Pete, I did the spiral by coming in. I did the drips by up, poking up and down. What should I do next? Uh, let's do squiggly lines. All right, so squiggly lines. All right, go there ahead. There you go. So we got some squiggles out there. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. And, oh, voila, that is beautiful. That is it is a true work of art. <laughs> okay. Yes! Yes. Good. So we've got the spin art here. There's more we can do with this idea. Let's go to the whiteboard and talk through a few other next steps. In this episode of Five Minute Classroom, we did a super cool spin art project. Where can we go next with this? As a, because we're connected to the, the Lego brick, the Lego brains, we can immediately turn this into a coding project and challenge our students to write the program to move the motor at different speeds or with different patterns and see what the resulting effect is in your artwork. Making this deck spin faster, also really fun and uh, cool to do. So how we do that with gears is a neat challenge for our students. We ask them, can you gear this up to move at a faster speed? And again, what's the resulting uh, artwork that we can create with that. Finally, this is a neat science platform. If you made this deck out of a sturdier material, and if you reference the video we created on how to add Lego to a thin wooden plywood, uh, perhaps that's the ticket. Uh, but now we've got a rotating science platform for exploring uh, the mm -hmm. science of rotation. Best thing at the end is that the students can take away their own artwork and bring it home for their refrigerator. Thanks for watching 5-Minute Classroom. Look forward to seeing you next time.